Hello, let's solve pips. We'll start with the easy puzzle as usual. Okay, 15. So that could be, oh, we have no sixes, so it'll have to be three fives. So that goes in right there. And only one more five, so that goes in here. 16 will have to be four fours, in fact, because that's the only way to hit 16 and four. Um, I don't know if this goes here. Oh, and then nine, similarly, we'll have three threes. Right, okay, we can't bridge the nine and 16, so these will have to be separate. So the four goes here. Oh, and look at that. It's shaped in the number, in a numeral nine, and the, the grid is shaped like a number nine. All right, so there we go. We'll try the medium puzzle. Okay, wow, look at all these equivalences. So we've got a four, a three, and another three. What could we use to comprise the four? We could use twos. We have four twos. Um, that might be it. No, no, we have threes as well. Twos and threes, sorry. Um, do we have doubles of anything? We, uh, we do, we have double three. Actually, I think that means this equivalence needs to be a three because we need a double in there somewhere. I don't know which direction it goes, but uh, it'll it'll it's used. So there are are other threes are connect to a six or a five. Okay, that feels like it could be. Well, does that mean it can't point up? Because yeah, we don't have neither of those. It can't point into the this equivalence region, but it could go here and just you know point into nothing. So that we, we don't yet know. Um, okay, so what are what are our other equivalences? I think now that means the four equivalents must be twos because we've already, we've earmarked the threes. So um, can I avoid any of them going into the less than four region? It seems, yeah, in theory, at least just based on the geometry, but that doesn't necessarily... That's not necessarily sufficient. If one went into the three-sized equivalent region bordering it, um, well, uh, one sec, sorry. Okay, I had a knock on the door to which I had to attend. Sorry about that, but I'm back. Um, forget what I was thinking about. I think I was thinking about whether the twos could point into the three-sized equivalence region, maybe? Uh, that would be a one, a five, a six, or a four. It could be any of those. Right. What were the possibilities? That we could have three sixes or... Well, that might be it. It might have to be sixes. Is that right? Can't be zeros. Can't be ones. Twos we're already going to use. Threes we're already using too many of. Four, nope. Uh, five, nope. So yeah, it's sixes. Okay, um, great. I mean, it makes me want to put that in there. We have no double sixes, so well, uh, actually, yeah. So this does need to be pointing this direction. I don't know if it's this exact domino, but we'll need you know we'll need one of them, you know, pointing up here, and then more pointing across. So for instance, it could be this with the six two, and then. You know, for instance, we could put the two and one to make that less than four, as an example. Um, maybe I'll just try this and see if it works. Um, we need a three, which would have to be this, if I'm using the six three up there, which actually I guess I have to because we need all three sixes. So actually, that is that bit is forced. Um, although this this breaks because I don't have a double two. So yeah, this this is wrong. Was there ever a three two? No, there wasn't. Oh, but you know what? I forgot. This was just a placeholder. This is probably this way. Um, and then, yeah, three, five pointing to an 11 seems reasonable enough. So we need six more in the 11, which could be, let's see. No, actually, I think I've broken this. Because we need three twos in here. Uh, maybe this works. Two, five, and then a one goes here, and a two goes here, and that actually does all work. Okay, that's fine. There was probably a more elegant way to solve that, but but we got there. Let's try the hard one. Okay, we have double zero up top, which is intriguing. It could be a double zero domino, but it could also be two things pointing down into the 11. Um, let's figure out how this... 
Okay, so this is maybe a good place to look. The equivalence region connected to a less than two. So this needs to be a one or a zero pointing into a three sized equivalence region. What do we have three of? We have six, and, and one of them needs to be a double. One of them needs to go here. So it could be double six, it could be double four. Okay, those both work. Um, do we have things that point into sixes and fours that would fit the less than two? Yes, we have a one connected to a six here, but we don't have a four actually. So I think that means we need this one six. Is that right? Do we not have a four that can connect to that? I don't think we do. Okay, so that's fine. So then the double six goes here. Now we need to comprise the 11 of three halves, two of which fit in the cell, fit, fit entirely in a single domino. So we could have two fours and a three, and then, right, and one of those will need to connect to an equivalence region. So actually it has to be the two fours because the only other double, no, wait, sorry. They don't need to be equal to, the two halves don't need to be equal. Sorry, that was idiotic what I just was attempting to do. Okay, but it could be the four with a three pointing up into the equivalence, which could be a three pointing into a two, which has another two, that's fine. Um, it couldn't be the three zero. It could be the two four, um, which would need a five pointing up into the equivalence, which could also be twos. Maybe these will just have to be twos. Um, well, no, seven could point up with fours, and then we could make a four pointing with a two over there. That's actually possible. So this could be twos or fours. If this were a five, we'd need a six. Now that could point up with a five. The five could go over there with a two. Right, okay. That's not very constrained, is it? What about how to form this area? We need a five bridging into the, the you know, half of the five bridging into half of the seven. Okay, we have two equivalence regions of size two. Let's think about that. Those could be, and neither of them is a single domino. They're both made up of two halves, two separate and disconnected halves. So we have twos, we have zeros. Okay, yeah, we even have enough zeros after all that because we could put the double zero up here. Um, twos, zeros, threes, fives, yeah. Those equivalences don't feel very constrained currently. What about what comes off of the zeros up here? Well, let's see. If it were blank, we could then have 4, 2, making 6. 5 goes down to the equivalent. That would be a 2. That's fine. Um, we could have double 4 to make 8. We'd need a three coming down, which would make two, which is also fine. Yeah, another one where I'm just not quite sure how to do. Is it the thing where you just try stuff? I mean, do we just try things and see how it goes? I don't like doing that, but sometimes it seems like it's how you solve this game. So that would go into here. This would then have to be this. Um, this might break. Oh, maybe not. No, wait, that's a seven. This needs to be a four, sorry. Oh yeah, it would have to be this. This does break because we don't have a one for the five. Okay, well, there's, there's something. So that doesn't work. Double four connects to a three. We could go three zero, which mean, would mean this would need to be that because then we'd need to put the double zero up there, um, which would be five two could connect to the five three. No, this is wrong. I don't know how to think about this efficiently. So that was with the three zero. It could, I mean, there might even have been other possibilities there. Three, two. There's just all kinds of things that work here so far. No, okay, I keep, you know what? I keep ending up with, oh no, this is right. Oh, that was right. Okay, Um. didn't feel very didn't feel very clever. Just felt like I put some stuff in the grid and it sort of worked. I mean, there were a few kind of observations I made that, that helped me kind of proceed, but yeah, it wasn't a, a very clean logical solve. Anyway, seems to be what happened. What's happening these days on the hard. That was where the pips back tomorrow. Bye for now.